Hi everybody, this is Hunter the Hunter Mackinan, and today's video has to do with these things. Instruction booklets. Instruction booklets for video games have, su have sadly kind of disappeared and are not really around anymore. Mostly because video games these days are capable of very cinematic storytelling as well as teaching you how to play the game through those incredibly annoying button prompts or just through tutorials and what have you. Such was not the case, however, back in the mid 80s, where in a lot of cases, you were just kind of expected to just figure out how to play a game by yourself, unless you, of course, had a manual that told you how to do so. However, the disappearance of the video game manual is kind of tragic, in my opinion, because these were not just manuals in the sense of telling you how to play the game, because especially with older games, these were basically a form of literature that were meant to really expand on the gameplay experience. And they possess a very specific kind of format that doesn't really exist anywhere else anymore. Especially Nintendo game manuals usually had a story section that, tell you, that told you what the game was really about. Some general instructions about how to play the game. And even as video game manuals started to die out, I remember during the Wii U period, they still at least had a little leaflet that told you the button layout for a game. But by far my favorite section of any video game manual was a section which introduced you to the various enemies and, and or characters that you would face in the game. Now, I live in Finland, and the Nordic distributor for Nintendo products over here, ever since the beginning of the 1980s, is a Swedish company called Bergsala, who was responsible not just for importing Nintendo products, but also translating them into the various Nordic languages. In fact, the only time when Bergsala hasn't been the importer for Nintendo products in Northern Europe was for a very brief period during the Wii era. Now, the Bergsala translators knew that the primary audience for Nintendo games was obviously small children, so when they translated these manuals, they actually went the extra mile of not just translating the contents of the actual booklet, but also localizing some of the character names. And this is what I wanted to kind of talk about today in regards to this thing. Now, this is my manual for the first Super Mario Brothers, and unfortunately, as you can see, it has seen better days. It's actually missing most of the pages from the Finnish section, and the, what you see here are mostly pages from the Swedish, Danish, and Norwegian sections. But in these very early Mario manuals, Bergsala actually gave all of the Mario characters unique Finnish names, except Mario and Luigi. And in this video, I want to discuss the Finnish names of some of the Mario characters and enemies. And we'll start with some of the most significant characters before we go to the enemy roster. And yes, the jumping board was actually listed as a character in the game. Now, first of all, the mushroom retainers, not toads, were indeed called just that, Sieni Alamainen, although the direct translation would be more akin to mushroom peasant. The name toad didn't appear until the second game. I think even in the Finnish manual, toad was just referred to by his English name. However, the princess character in Mario games, Princess Peach, was of course not called Peach around this time. She was called Princess Toadstool. Now, the Bergsala translators decided to have a little bit of fun with this. As you can see, her picture is not featured in the actual manual. And it appears to me that the Bergsala translator was a big fan of mushrooms. We'll see this with another character name because they decided to call Princess Toadstool Princess Sacantarelli. Toadstool, of course, is just another name for a mushroom, while Cantarelli is the Finnish name for the golden chanterelle mushroom. Now, I'm going to be blunt with you, this name did not really stick with me because I was also watching the Super Mario Bros. Super Show at the same time, and even in the Finnish dub, they still called her Princess Toadstool, so eventually I just kind of got used to using that name. Now, interestingly, the name Bowser did not appear in the Finnish section of the original Mario manual, although it is in the Swedish and Danish and Norwegian sections. But instead, for the longest time, I refer to this character as Kuningas Kopa, even though in the manual, they actually call it Kopa Kuningas. This is sort of interesting because the name Bowser was actually dreamed up by Nintendo's American division, and in Japan, Bowser has always been known as just Koopa. That's why they also call him that in the live-action Mario movie. Now, the reason I think Bergsala decided not to use the name Bowser was because the letter W is usually pronounced just as a V in Finnish, and so I think they were afraid that small children were going to have difficulties pronouncing the name. Regardless, Bergsala did start to use the name Bowser around about the time of the release of Super Mario Bros. 3 in Europe, which due to the fact that Bowser didn't have hair in his sprite art and the fact that I was also watching the Super Mario Bros. Super Show at the same time, Led me to think that King Koopa and Bowser were actually two different characters originally. 
But now we are done with non-enemy characters. Let's jump into the most iconic pair of enemy characters, the little Goomba and the Koopa Troopas. Now, Goomba is not, in fact, this character's original Japanese name. It's actually Kuribo, which is a lead-on from the word chestnut, which is kind of weird because the Goomba is clearly a mushroom. They, they are referred to as traitors to the Mushroom Kingdom in the original manual as well. Goomba, however, is mafia slang for an underling, which of course is kind of appropriate, and funnily enough, it does actually sound similar to the original name. The same is also true for the Finnish name, although, again, like I said, the Berksala translator really seemed to be a big fan of mushrooms because he decided to call these enemies Pikku Kukunen. Kukunen is the name of a mushroom, which are these weird, tiny, lumpy ones. And the best example that I could find was, unfortunately, the horse dung fungus, which doesn't look very appetizing. Now, interestingly enough, the Koopa Troopas did not actually have the word Koopa in their Finnish name, they were just called Konna Soturi. Now, Konna is a shortening of the Finnish word Kilpikonna, which means turtle. Although, confusingly, it could also be interpreted as being the shortening of Rupikonna, which is the Finnish name for a toad. And Soturi is just a rough approximation of the word trooper, or I guess trupa, because it's an informal expression from what would be the actual Finnish word for a soldier. The Finnish name for the cheap cheap is Beep Beep, which is sort of a direct translation of how you would pronounce that name. In fact, a lot of the Mario enemy names actually are direct translations, such as Buzzy Beetle, Surina Kuoriainen, the Piranha Plant, Piranha Kasvi, and the Hammer Brothers, Vasara Veljekset. And there were a couple of character names that the Berksella translator decided to not touch at all, principally Potopo and Lakitu. And I suspect the reason the Berksala translators decided not to mess with these names was because they actually deemed these names to be relatively easy for small children to pronounce. However, they then did some very bizarre decisions with a couple of character names that I'm not entirely sure of. First of all, there's the Blooper. Now, the name Blooper is kind of a bizarre name. I'm not entirely sure where it originates from, if it's supposed to be in reference to the kind of noise that a squid would make, or if indeed it has something to do with you know, outtakes. Apparently the Berksal translator thought the blooper was a pretty weird name as well, so instead they gave him a very descriptive name. Focusing entirely on the eye area of the blooper, the Finnish name of the enemy was Namio, which means mask, and that seems a bit bizarre because I don't think the implication is that bloopers are supposed to be wearing masks. However, by far the weirdest name decision was actually related to the Spinies. You would have thought that the Finnish translator would have just used the Finnish word for spike, which is piki, but no, instead the translator decided to call these enemies Lukki, which is the Finnish name for the daddy long legs arachnid. Note, it's not a spider. And I have absolutely no idea what part of this creature the Berksala translator looked at and thought resembled a daddy long legs. I don't even have a very good theory as to why they chose this one, other than it's the name of an actual animal and therefore kind of easy to pronounce. Maybe because the spiny comes from eggs, but even that seems like a bit of a stretch. However, by far my favorite of the original Mario Brothers Finnish enemy names is the Finnish name for the Bullet Bill, and partially because I have kind of kept this name alive in my immediate family whenever we play Mario Kart. Now, of course, the last part of the name Bullet Bill is just a person's name, and the Barcelona translators wanted to keep that consistency also in the Finnish translation. However, the problem here is that the Finnish word for a bullet begins with the letter L, so instead they just gave Bill a Finnish name that also starts with the letter L, which is why the character is known as Luoti Lasse. Mario was by no means the only game where the Berksala translators decided to change the, some of the character names. Super Mario Bros. 2, which I didn't have on NES, this is just the manual for the advanced version, had a couple of funny name translations and so did Super Mario Bros. 3, even though in that one it seemed like Berksala was defaulting to using the English names. So I don't know, if you want me to revisit this topic, I could definitely talk a little bit about the Donkey Kong Country games and the names used in those. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Hanno the Hunter Mekinen. See you on the next one.